Okay, so the best physics demos are the ones that look really hard, but are actually pretty easy. So I'm going to show you a great demo, uh, and I'm going to explain it to you. Uh, so here I have two 500 gram masses, and they're both supported by a string, and then they have a string on the bottom. And so the question is, if I pull on the bottom string, which string will break? Okay, so uh, this is great because the answer is whatever I want it to be. I'm going to show you. Okay, so you probably are going to say, well, if you pull on the string, then if I pull down on this one, then the tension in the top string is going to be greater. They're, these are threads. See, like it's really thin, thin thread. Can you see it? It's really thin. Um, and that way I can actually break it because I couldn't break a string like that. Uh, so if I pull on the string, uh, then if I pull downward, then there's going to be a greater tension in the top one because it has to also support the weight. Uh, so then the top one will break. So if I do that, I'm going to pull on the bottom one. And this one I have a little string there to catch it, but it doesn't always fall. Ooh, it still scares me. Okay, so the top one broke, just like you said. You were right. Good job. Okay, now here's where I say if you pull on the bottom one, the bottom one will break. Ready? Okay, I'm going to pull, I'm going to use this little stick just to get a good grip on the string. Because um, otherwise, it doesn't always work. I can't grab that thread very well. So let's just wrap this around. Okay, you ready? Top string or bottom string break? Which one's going to be? And there is a string here, see? There's a string. I'm pulling it. Okay. Here it goes. Ready? Bottom string broke. Uh, and you don't, it, there's nothing special about those strings. Okay. So in that case, um, let's look at this. Okay. I, I have some data on this. So here is a force sensor. And so what would happen if I, if I connected a force sensor to the top string and I pulled the bottom string with the force sensor? Then we can see the difference in forces uh, in the string and not just go by what feels better. So let me move this down for a second. Okay. So what would happen if, I pull slowly. So here I have the tension in the two strings. So the, uh, they start off and the top string has a higher tension. Okay. Why does the top string have a higher tension? Well, let's draw a force diagram. So this is a 500 gram mass, so 0.5 kilograms. So if I draw all the forces on it, I have the gravitational force pulling down, mg. I have the tension pulling down, T, D for downward tension, and then the upward tension, T, U. Okay. And so since this is at rest, then T up minus T down minus MG equals zero. So in order for this to equal zero, this one has to be bigger than that one because it has to also balance out this gravitational force. Okay. So if I increase the downward tension, that's going to increase the upward tension. And you see that exactly right here. Okay, so right here you see that uh, this has a greater value. As I increase the bottom one, the top one increases too. Eventually they break and everything drops down to zero. Cool. What if I pull really fast? What's different? Well, now I'm writing this in just one dimension. Forces are actually a vector. Okay, so if I pull really fast, then this should say F net Y equals m a y. This is the net force in the y direction is the mass times acceleration in the y direction. And so now the acceleration is not zero. So that means that in order to accelerate down, I actually need a net force pulling down. You would get that if you just drop the object because there's only the gravitational force pulling it down and it would accelerate. Or I can create a tension in the downward direction that's actually greater. So if I, in if I make this much greater then the net force is going to be in the downward direction. Okay, so I need to make that much greater. Uh, can I do that? Turns out, yes. Okay, here is what the data looks like if you pull it really fast. This isn't as great. Okay, so you see that? So again, I have the top string, the bottom string, and both the tensions decrease because I kind of lifted up a little bit before I pulled down so I could yank really fast. Uh, and then right here is where it broke right there. See that little sp spike? And it does not get greater than this. But that's because I'm pretty sure, not 100% sure, 
I'm pretty sure that's because my data collection wasn't fast enough. This was at a thousand uh, data points per second. I think if you could get a faster thing, this peak would actually go above that. So it would look like this. It would look like, here's my force, time, here's the bottom one, and it goes bleep, like that, and then here's the top one, and it goes, it kind of, well no, it, it kind of goes up a little bit too, but not as fast. And so that one gets over it. So that at this point, the downward tension is greater than the upward tension to accelerate it down and it breaks. There you go. Okay, now there, there is uh, another explanation here that a lot of people use. Why does it break when you pull it down? They'll say, oh, this is a great example of uh, objects have mass and that mass is inertia. So you need a force to change it. And that is true. Okay. But I like to explain that in terms of forces. Uh, there's another variation of this you can try. Uh, you take you take your hand and you put like a heavy weight on top of it and you hit the, the weight with a hammer and you're like, it didn't hurt. It doesn't hurt because the heavy weight doesn't want to accelerate down so you can actually hit on it really hard. Don't hit yourself with a hammer. And if you try that one, just tap it lightly at first. Okay, but that's a great demo for you to do. Let me give one more explanation for this this problem so so if I have this string and it's mounted up here and I pull really fast how does that how does that break the bottom string I said hey well if it's accelerating down this this tension could be greater than that one and then you may say but if it's accelerating down that string's gonna break that's a great point okay so yes you can accelerate without moving I mean if I right where I let this go it's accelerating and it's not moving yet so it actually can accelerate without moving and I know that's really crazy um, but just just trust me on that one it, it can and in fact once it does start moving um, if, if you have a great enough acceleration then this is gonna break before it actually gets a chance to accelerate very much at all anyway so it, it is indeed possible to yank this I can't do it this one because I have a, a thick string so I, I you can see it so that it, it has a greater force downward it accelerates downward until this one breaks and then it doesn't accelerate so Yes, it is about acceleration. I'm pretty sure.